Katie, where are we? I feel like you like broke into the theater. What? Because no one's here. Oh, no one's here. Should I be vlogging this? Should That's what I'm doing right now for you. Oh, hi. Hi, everybody. Happy December 18th. Here, let me do that again. Never. Hi, everybody. Happy December 18th. We are in the theater. I've never been this early for a class. Because you're with me, because I'm always like an hour early. <laughs> That's why I could get to do your little hair. So we're on, we're walking across the stage. There is no one here. My camera's not focusing. There we go. Sean's here. We're gonna go to the dressing room. So I'll take you to the dressing room. Yeah, Sean. <laughs> I'm sure as if you watched the previous vlog, you will. <laughs> you heard all of Sean's wonderful commentary. We have more of that for you today. <laughs> well, it works. Would you? Oh, does anybody have a hand to get the door? Wait, no, no, okay, I get it. Oh, you do. Thank you. Okay, Morgan, I'm wrong. <laughs> Thank you. I'm bringing things today into oh, the dressing room. Okay. Uh oh. We're okay. All is well. We're good. She's like, that's brilliant. Okay. I'm doing makeup after this, though. Yeah, oh, yeah. No, no, no. I might start it, but then. Because we have still. Fat. What? Class is we have until eight. Five to six. We have three hours to kill. <laughs> yeah, we do. So Okay. To give me something to do so I don't just sit around. Mm -hmm. Class. Bail on that early per use. Probably, yeah. So then come up, start the makeup process. Uh-huh. Stretch. Uh-huh. Go down and do another like plie jeté whack a leg. <laughs> come up. Do a little is that how to do do on stage with you during intermission and then go team go. Yep. Urban outfitter sleeve. <laughs> what did she say? Plie tondu whack a leg. Is that how today's gonna be? Isn't that how like all warm ups go? Plie tondu. Oh my gosh, we haven't been here five minutes. <laughs> Who was it? Who was it that that was literally their warm up for stuff? It was <laughs> sure. There are a lot of people. I don't was, know how they do it. I can't remember if it was during Flesh and Bone. Oh, Sean was on Flesh and Bone, by or the way. Or if it was probably like, not good for kids, but back at P and V. Yeah. Like no, I think it was Flesh and Bone. Sean was on Flesh and Bone. What else have you? Oh, seen? it was Megan. Megan would warm. That's how she would warm up for <laughs> our guest Hi, Megan. <laughs> and like when we were in LA guesting. Mm -hmm. Not Megan Fairchild. No, no, no. Megan Dickinson. We would be in LA, and of course, like, we were there for like two months and living our best little LA lives. Right. And sometimes there would be like, sometimes there would be like class in the morning, sometimes we just wouldn't feel like it because of our rehearsal schedule. Yeah. So we would like go and we would be like, okay, we'll get, we'll get, we'll warm ourselves up, which you know is never like the best option. Yeah. No. So we would go, I would be like stretching, trying to give myself like a pretend bar, and she'd be sitting there probably eating like, more bagels or something mm -hmm. and then she'd be like plie plie whatever like a tondu tondu and then she'd just go like whack, whack. <laughs> and then like, we have to go to rehearsal <laughs> she's like i'm good yeah i was like that's <laughs> so that's efficient <laughs> tell tell everybody what you've done you've done broadway you've done flesh and bone oh i'm the best broad out there that's my career <laughs> No, that's what no, everyone calls me. No, you're not a me. fraud. You don't get to do all this stuff being a fraud. That's what everyone calls me on West Side Story. Why? Because, team. Why? I, like, barely get through ballet with smoke and mirrors. And then, when I left ballet and went to New York to go do Broadway on a whim, because I was like, mm, I guess I can do this. Never, you know. Yeah. Not Sean a did Phantom. Not a Broadway. trained singer, not a trained actor. I'm just like. But you got to dance. I'm a character. So, I did that. <laughs> That's true. Right? So I did that. And then I did, I randomly booked that TV show, mm -hmm. Flesh and Bone, which was great. And then some other random gigs. 
your thing. Yeah. Sean and I met, I needed a partner for the Kennedy Center. That's where Sean And then I was doing West Side Story and my friends thought in the cast were like, how do you get all, like, because I know nothing. Like, I literally know nothing. I would, they would say something and I would sit there and be like, I don't know who that person is. I don't know what that is. I've never heard of that. And they're like, how, how, do you, how have you gotten these jobs? And I was like, I don't know. I just, it's your, it's your, I just show up. You're talented I flail and you're nice. The, and... I flail in the room and I walk out and hope for the best. And show like, up I and want flail. A paycheck. That's Sean's motto, show up and flail. <laughs> you said that to so me a lot. The joke was like, Sean, you're the biggest fraud possible. And then they're like, your next project's going to be a, like an EP album that's going <laughs> to be like released like out of nowhere. You'll get... You'll get something, yeah. Yeah. I think you're going to get something from this blog. I think you need a comedy hour or something. No. I, get, I don't like talking to people. I get nervous. Yeah, but you did really... You, that's the thing. Like, you're just ch talking to me right now. Well, that's because I thought you were talking to yourself originally. <laughs> that's basically what being a YouTuber is. Job description. Talk I did hear that YouTubers now are much more comfortable... They're more comfortable now with no one else in the room when they are YouTubing because of the pandemic when everyone was like on hardcore lockdown. Oh. Because they were having to do it all themselves instead of having like their cameraman editor, which I know you've never had, but yes, a I've, lot of people I do. I do all the filming and editing by myself. That's why it looks like it's on an iPhone. It is. <laughs> um, Not always. I have a 4K camera. True, true. You are bougie. I did have help with Anastasia though with the drone shots. Shout out to another Sean. Sean Spanauer. I don't Sean. even know how to use a drone. I would crash it. Oh, he was amazing. He's like, hey, let's go over there. And his thing flo it follows you. You can, like, lock it on to somebody and it follows you. Like the That's, drone. like, army spy stuff that gets weird. <laughs> That's questionable. <laughs> yeah, it worked, though. That's how we got all those bridge shots. If you haven't seen Anastasia yet, I'll link it in a card. I did see it. I was talking to them. <laughs> I know, but I stalked you down secretly. And I'm like, well, we got Katie's up to. I'd also like to say that Albert Long's video is six minutes. <laughs> I'm still at the ponytail. <laughs> uh, in okay, Mr. I Urban Outfitter's hair, hair just, just spray spray done. <laughs> as we learned yesterday. <laughs> My goal is to have Prince Eric hair always or Prince Philip from Sleeping Beauty. Oh, that's who you look like. That's always my goal. I'm like for stage. Like if I, when I get haircuts around. He looks around. like Prince Philip in Sleeping Beauty in the animated version, right? Comment below. That's yes. what I try to. Yes, that's who you look like. It's really embarrassing when I get my haircut at the barbershop, and then I, I was like, oh, okay, so I have shows, so we can't, whatever. I was like, I just need you, like, my Prince Eric, like, little hair super, like, Prince Philip, you know, from Disney. And they're like, okay. <laughs> I'm like, do you want me to pull up a photo? <laughs> what childhood did you have? How do you not know the reference? Yeah, you could work at Disneyland. That was my lifelong dream as a kid. <laughs> really? And then my other goal was to work in the summer at Disneyland in Phantasmic as Prince Eric. Oh, Phantasmic. Right? We Life changing. Phantasmic. But you had to be 17 or a graduated senior, and I was like 15, 16. Aww. Looked like I was 12. Aww. So I was like, I'd be stuck as Peter Pan if I ever did it. Oh, I can't see you as Peter Pan. Yeah, maybe now I could go do it. I could retire and just go you work at Disney. Yourself. There might be an age thing now, though, right? Well, there was then. You had to be like out of high school. To be a character. Oh, to be a character. And there's still an age thing. They age out the girls for princesses. That's what I mean. Like there's a there's an upper age. Oh, I think that's just for the women for princesses, oh. sadly. Oh, okay. Because I know there's like a there's an age and a height. Yeah, the height. I know there's a height. Height and body I had and everything. A, a friend, Hyliet, she I feel like she's a friend. We somehow like met through Instagram or something, but she was friends with, as they say, Belle Ariel and Aurora? Yeah, probably Aurora. That makes sense. And there is a height. I think it's like 5'4 to 5'7. Five, 5'8 five, yeah. now, maybe. Um, yeah. No, I know a couple of people that work there. Really My cousin's really good friend, because he went to school there, and he's also a Disney nerd for our family. That's what we are. That's another reason I like Sean. He's a Disney uh, nerd. I try to keep that on the down low, but that's... Oh, I can cut that out if you want me to. <laughs> Everyone knows. Okay. I think I'm really secret about being a Disney fan, and I'm not... Uh, she did like her whole college career as like her college money mm. was the evil queen in Fantasmic. That's so cool. So she would like go to school. She had all day for like her auditions for life because they were actors. Mm 
Mm-hmm. And then she like shows up, does her two shows, like almost catch on fire over the cauldron and everything else, <laughs> and fire. then leave. Yeah, yeah. that's pre- that's a right? nice gig. And they're that's really nice Disney's gig. really loyal too. So like, if you know your stuff, you leave. You always like can come back. Come you, back. Well, I, I mean, I guess if you're good, totally. if, if they like you, but yeah, it's they're pretty good with that. There was like a couple like there was like a YouTuber here that was like a former Disney princess, and she would take like questions and stuff. It was her whole channel was being a former Disney princess. I actually think I might have watched that. Have you watched? Right? I'm so sure I watched because I was so intrigued. I was like, I yeah, want to yeah, know. Because yeah, right. I used to, once I turned 17, I used to watch the Disney audition website all the time. Oh, yeah. To see what they were auditioning, what were they looking for? Because I know they hire like overly qualified dancers right. to be a face character or a parade person. Right. I once, while we were on a trip there, um, I think I was maybe... 21, 22 at the time. Uh, they told me they were like, you should go audition for Snow White. Yeah. Like the, one of the workers came up to me and was like, "Are you, do you are you a cast member?" And I was like, "No." And he was like, "You should, you should be, you should go audition for Snow White." They took me to second, and I was still at City Ballet at the time. And I was like, "Actually, I have this I've other career." Have another job. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> yeah, no, I used to watch it all the time. I'd be like, okay, I might be able to make this audition. I could make this one. Maybe I could do this one. Has anybody know. ever worked at Disney as a character? Comment below. Yeah, we want to hear your stories. Tell I'm very intrigued stories. by it. This is a really good one. So that's like what from J. Crew, not Urban Outfitters? That's the J. Crew bun. I did Urban Outfitters. Might even be a Gucci bun today. You bougie. <laughs> The front. <laughs> the front looks a little. You got that hardy tiara that covers it. Yeah. <laughs> Describe. I said, my tiara is really big. <laughs> he goes, she's not big. She's just hardy. Because she's not big. She's not tall. She's just like thick. She's just hardy. Yeah. Yeah. Because she's like solid throughout side to side. Mm-hmm. It, I didn't notice it at all, though, when we were. Partnering, yeah. No, it's that one stays on. I had another one that I wore last week for the matinee that doesn't have any way to pin it in at the front. So it moves. So it was. I felt like I was bending back, like trying to hold my tiara on. So. Is there any way you could like sew that like mesh? I need onto to get the it? mesh. I need to get the mesh for this one too because this Around wire the is you just could pulling just my hair out. Me- I would mesh the whole the whole thing. Wrap it around the whole thing. Yeah, you put like a whole mesh thing right here. Oh, I was just thinking, just like the at Pima, they used to just do it like a cross, so like a, like an extra little rim. Oh. So you could pin it down around uh, if you wanted. In the back too. Yeah. Okay. Cause some, our sugar bun and then you could do this. I had mesh all, all the way. It was like full mesh. This is it cause it just sat flat on mm-hmm. your head though? Mm-hmm. But that one shapes to like around like a headband-ish almost. Yeah, so it needs mesh there. Yeah. Cool. And then you could just pin into this if, as needed mm-hmm. or whatever, or just do it, and you, or you could do the strap across the back too that goes up and over. Maybe that should be craft time. <laughs> Sean and Katie. We could do, oh, uh, we could do a craft. Where, like, where's our glue gun? <laughs> I'm sure there's one here in the theater. Give me some glue gun and, and some sparkles and I'm happy. <laughs> so, pass through, close circle for the breath, front and back, turn into the bar, palm view back, we'll do our big lunge stretch down, up and back. <laughs> It's a different view. Um, they're different view, good. They don't need to see me that close. We just took class, mm-hmm. as you saw, which we're very happy we did. Mm-hmm. On the ice rink. Yeah, this, the, the studio down there is, this is the Topeka Performing Arts Center. 
So it looks sort of like it was made for maybe it's an orchestra rehearsal room or something. Something. With bars, yeah. So the floor is questionable. In other words, it would have been perfect for Nancy Kerrigan. There you go. Let's get some ice skates like we talked about yesterday. So, oh, we're tying it back, Sean. See, we're good at this. We never ice skates yesterday? Yeah, we talked about how expensive they were. Mmm, yeah. Mm -hmm. I know that because I edited the vlog. <laughs> mm. Oh, by the way, I'm on TikTok now. I'll link it below. She's I cool with the kids. I should have said that. I'm on TikTok now. Sean inspired me. Are you on TikTok? No. Well, well, you told me to get on TikTok, so I did. That's it's same as Instagram, Catherine underscore Morgan. I hope you didn't want grapes. No, I'm good. Okay, because they're depleting quickly. That's fine. This, it, you know what? It's so dry here, my makeup is not blending. It's like not, Is that what it is? Yeah, it's not blending. Topeka. Topeka. Whatever. <laughs> Topeka. Cool. Where is the huge citywide humidifier? Why do I feel like I'm in the Sahara Desert? Sahara? Sahara? I don't know. Yeah, I already said. Sahara, Sahara. Tomato, tomato. I don't I'm know. chugging water. Yep. My skin is like... Yep. Sandpaper. Mm hmm that's what it is because like my makeup usually sits well and it's not sitting well i'm about to put like crisco on my face because i'm just like it's so dry i love how you don't like the silence of the videos and i'm fine just sitting here eating without talking to it i can cut it out i don't care i find myself sitting here quietly interesting okay that's good i'm also just not engaged like you are you know well this is good because i we already did a vlog of hair. We did a vlog of makeup. But we need something interesting. And you're the new interesting thing. I feel like I'm old hat by now. I like that City by Light, you guys have like a makeup consultation for your face. Yeah, did I? I don't think I ever explained that process to anybody. I've told you about the makeup artist, but when you get your apprenticeship, he's no longer there, but they have somebody. Mm -hmm. When you get your apprenticeship, you get a personal makeup consultation, even if it's just with the other apprentices. Yeah, but they like, yeah, they like literally say, this is how your face yep. needs to do makeup. They teach you your face. I really would love another pizza right now. I'm just craving it because I'm not doing anything. Oh, we're contemplating pizza. I don't think I could do pizza right you're now. You're contemplating. I, I mean, you're not. I am. Yeah. I you're just here for support. The proverbial we. I'm here for moral support. I'm good at that. This is the hair that I napped in earlier. That I had to then re-wet to style again. But the front of it's the nap hair. The back of it was, um, I had to hop in the shower and wet it down. My watch is dead, I don't know what time it is. I got a phone, because we're filming this on your phone. It is 6.09. Oh my God, <laughs> It doesn't start till seven. We don't go on till the eight. <laughs> But we took class. I know. At 6.30, I will do my makeup. And then I'll stretch, do a plie tendu whack a leg. <laughs> and then we'll do second We work. should so market that. Plie tendu whack a leg. Mm -hmm. Hi, welcome to plie tendu and whack a leg. <laughs> Megan would sue our butts for intellectual property because she started it. All right, maybe we get Megan royalties. <laughs> my last two print shows are the last two shows of Nutcracker. Oh, I'm sorry. That's tough. Last two days of Nutcracker. I do the very, very last show as Prince, and then I do Christmas the Christmas Eve. Eve. Yeah. Christmas Eve is the only technically correct one, so that's kind of cool. What do you mean? The party, the, the Nutcracker takes place on Christmas Eve. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's the only actually correct one. Oh my god, you know what I need to do? I know I put my black liquid liner in here. I need to check my lights to see what happened in those last Oh yeah, you maybe should do that now in case there's an issue. Ow! Oh, okay. Shout out to all the people who work at Kansas Ballet. They're amazing. Can we just say... They're amazing. One, I feel terrible. We have to be, for everyone's health and safety, 
we've had to be in a, like a sugar plum COVID bubble with ourselves because I'm still currently, I'm still doing nutcrackers at Valley Met. So to protect everyone, we are kind of having to be segregated in our little bubble in mm -hmm. this suite. Yeah. And I feel terrible that we can't go actually interact as much as I would love to with everyone else has been so generous to us here. That's why we've had to be but like by ourselves. But I, I, I have to be, you know, for safety You're protocols. Contractually obligated. Yeah, and I want to make sure everyone's safe and I don't want to, you know, like I, I'm so happy I get this opportunity to like come fly out and do this with you. Yeah. But in return, like I know it comes with. Well, Sean was the only one allowed to. As far leave. as I know, yeah. yeah. I'm very grateful. But in return then, mm -hmm. I'm doing my due diligence and me and Katie are like trying to do the whole like as safe as possible mm -hmm. because like we're boosted we're vaccinated we're all the things but you don't you want know. to like get it and no spread it or and like you know we're fully masked around it every yeah. and we walk through and everyone so i'm but i'm just trying to cut down the interactions but in return i feel bad I feel because because y'all are like so sweet and so generous to us the suite you guys gave us in the theater casual did not need this we're like living the high life. Right? We're living the high you life. No, they bring up, they like supplies with like waters and snacks. Yeah. So grateful. I will say every, all three gigs I've done, everybody has treated us like royalty. Texas, Alabama, and here. I've Alabama. actually never done a gig and, and had a bad experience. And I don't know mm -hmm. if it's because I've lucked out that I've always been, like I've done them with you, mm -hmm. which I think brings a standard. Mm -hmm. And then when I did them with Megan, same thing. Yeah. Like in Manitowoc, where there was making a murder happening while we were there. We survived, obviously. But they were so, so nice to us. And even me and my friend Sarah, when we did one in Philly, mm -hmm. so nice. Yeah. Yeah. I don't know. So, when you do these kind of things, it's why I like doing them. Is It's not just about coming in and dancing. Like you, it's an experience and people and... They're so nice, and you, you know, because I remember when principals would come to do my character when I was little, and you didn't really care what they looked like on stage. You wanted to interact with them and take class with them, and yeah, you know what I mean. Like I remember when me and Megan went to the Manitowoc one to do Nutcracker, and if I'm saying it wrong, correct me. Um, you know, leave the pronunciation in the description. Yeah, like the spell comments. it out how you say it, not how you spell it, because I can't read. Oh yeah, they were, some of the parents were saying how nice it was and how much they appreciated the fact that me and Megan like talked to the uh -huh. kids, interacted. And I was like, wait, 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 wait. You would not That's believe. never happened. And, oh, like, yeah. and they were like, no, the couple has mm -hmm. never interacted with the kids before. They just come and stay in their room. and Which is hard to believe, but I've seen it happen. Really? Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. They're bringing you in. They're paying you to do a job. The job is not just to go on stage, spin for Jesus, whack a leg, and leave. <laughs> The job is to come and like be a, be a per part yeah. of the production. Have we? Yes. Candyland, Happy Nutcracker, all that stuff. Right? Yep. 100%. That's, that's, that's why they're bringing you in because they want those kids to have good in, right. like interactions in the profession with the professional world. Well, that's also, I mean, aside from our time on stage, it's also why I like bringing you. Um, and Luciana and Aladdin were like this too, like all three of you, but you especially in the past too, like you want to s interact with the kids, you want to be kind, you want, to, you know, I would never bring somebody yeah. to and do that. Mm -hmm. I don't get it. When, when me and Megan were told, it has never happened. Yeah, and I've they, seen it. And they use, it. and they, were, they used to use the same couple, they use the same couple every year. Like I we, wash my hands. I'll we got it just by a fluke. Yeah. I was just like, come in. Come in. Katie got flowers. Oh my goodness, Jordan. Oh, Jordan, Capo, and Co. Thank you so much. Um, we did the necklace together. We did the KM. Oh, is that? Together. That's Jordan. Gotcha. Jordan. Oh, they're so pretty. What are you going to do with these tomorrow when you fly? I don't know. You're going to go to my mom again per usual. I'm going to give them to your mother. She'll take them. Did they drive here? No, my mom just takes anything on a plane. Remember <laughs> in Phoenix, she took your flowers in Phoenix as well. His mother took my flower oh. when we did Giselle, which you can see here on YouTube. Um, that's Sean, by the way, in the Giselle video. 
She took his mother took my flowers and like on the plane or something. It was She's amazing. like, you can't just throw these away or leave them in the hotel. Mm -hmm. So I just did the solo, and it's nice rain. <laughs> it's a bit slippy. It was one of those solos where, again, safety first. It was very placed. I didn't add anything. Simple. I took out all the turns, <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Like, I didn't do any of the last releve in the diagonal. I did them all PKs. If anybody's a ballet person, you know what I mean. Like, it's, it's just, say, tonight's a safety first kind of night. But all it in wasn't all, this like yesterday for dress rehearsal, so yeah, that's why. I don't know what happened. Last night was fine. Today's a little slick. But our dressing room is like right off the stage, so we came back up here because it's warmer, it's less crowded. Mother Ginger's going. My COVID bubble. COVID bubble. Um, Mother Ginger's going, and then <sighs> floss of flowers, and then we're on. But I already did the solo. Yay! It happened. Uh, <laughs> no, you know what? It was good. It was really good. It was really clean. We went simple and clean. We went simple and clean. Because we forgot our ice skates for the ice rink. <laughs> but you know what? The you know what? It was fine last night. It was Fine. Yeah, it was tolerable. Yeah. I think the Zamboni might have skipped a night and forgot to like clean the ice or something. I don't know. All the pirouettes were good. I hit my step ups, hallelujah. Oh, those were really great. Those were really the great. Thing, the thing I said was my favorite part. I, I, do you see me standing there smiling? I'm like, I'm waiting for it. I'm like, okay, we're <laughs> like, good. Break. <laughs> catch, catch, go. Sorry, and Brock I, Soto. I did use two hands because we were on a nice Sorry, Jock. But you know what I did too? I, in my head, I went, he's got me. Got me? He's got, oh, he's got me. It was okay, so simple. Yeah. Yeah, we're fine. It was great. The lifts, the way we, the tempo wise is perfect. They're not as exciting, but that's okay. What do you mean? I'm carrying you. You're carrying me. We're getting distance. You're up there. Yeah. Like, yeah I'm up there. I'm up there. If I just would have popped him, it would have been like a wah wah. Yeah, no, that's not interesting. So, one show down. One show down. We're going to do it again tomorrow afternoon. At then one. Then race to the airport. Race. It's an hour drive. My flight is two hours after the curtain goes down. I'm allegedly, staying in a hotel. I leave tomorrow morning at like 5 a.m. Allegedly, they say I can make my flight. Where it's an hour away, though. Jesus, take the wheel. <laughs> okay. Let's go get dinner. Let's go get dinner. Hi, everybody. Congratulations, Kansas Ballet, on amazing opening night. We had so much fun tonight we with had you. so much fun. And so we're fun. so excited to do it again tomorrow. Yeah. We wanted to send everyone a message to say we wish we could be more interactive with you, but we're trying to keep everyone safe. Mm -hmm. And we have to keep some distance, but know that we are so grateful and so thankful for you guys having us. We're so excited to be here. Yeah. And married for tomorrow night. Yeah. Or tomorrow a, afternoon. Tomorrow, tomorrow afternoon. afternoon. Tonight. We just did tonight. We loved sharing the stage with you. We had a, we had a blast. You guys we are so welcoming. Yay. Thank you guys. Bye. Glamorous. Just, you know, <laughs> Just Katie's in my trash can. <laughs> trash cans of ice <sighs> on an adventure. There's no ice on my floor, so I have to go elsewhere. Oh. Katie, you really are. I need to make you watch those reels. You are the living embodiment of that reel that's like, am I the drama? No. <laughs> Am I? Is it me? Am I the drama? I've never seen that. I I'm don't know what that gonna is. Google this for you. Living embodiment. <laughs> <laughs> sure. I mean, just think, it's not like you're being waterboarded or something. True. True that. <sighs> oh, like all the ice is melted. Are you gonna, how are you gonna get a piece of ice? I should have given you one. Oh, I always say I'm gonna ice and then I just give up on it and just, it's just the thought that counts really. Right. It's like an apology. Yeah. Or like a Christmas card. It's just the thought that counts. Yeah. I don't yeah, really need to those. do it. It just is what it is. Yeah. So glamorous. <laughs> Let's look at these disgusting trash cans you chose to use too. <laughs> They're awful. I'm really gonna have to wash my feet. 
Like, really gonna have to watch I feel like you're gonna get, like, MRSA or something. Are you videoing right now? Oh, my gosh. <laughs> yeah, there's no ice anymore. What are no, you but doing? it's still cold. It's still really cold.